So there's a lot of rumors about uh, Pat Patterson and guys like Steve Lombardi, Sylvain Grenier, and Jim Powers having special relationship with him. Yeah, I heard that. Um, and that way they're keeping their jobs a bit in the case of, or more in the case of Lombardi's mm. um, keeping his job for, a, for that long. Do you sure. have any? That's what they say. That's what they say. Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, where there's smoke, there's fire. Um, but, you know, I know Pat very well. And when he lost uh, Louis, who was his longtime mm -hmm. uh, partner, it broke his heart. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, you know, sometimes, especially in those days where uh, people didn't understand homosexuality True. and uh, it was, you know, it wasn't okay to be gay. And Pat was always openly gay, mm -hmm. uh, which, you know, he's a courageous man for doing that. I give him all the credit in the world. I just think it's it was an easy target. It's like, you know, oh, if Jim Powers is getting a push, must be because, uh, look at him, he's got a good body. Pat's probably, I mean, you know, I heard the stories too. Uh, Steve Lombardi, I heard the stories too. Uh, you know, I have no, I know as much as anybody else, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. You know, who knows? But I, I just know that uh, that Pat and Louie were very much in love and... Um, Lombardi was just more of a, I just think he was more of a stooge. I think they liked him there because he was a stooge for the office. Like if, if you know, if anything was going on, he would, uh, he would run off and tell Pat. He was like one of Pat's gophers, like go for my coffee. If you hear anything, tell me this and tell me that. But uh, who knows? Who knows? You know, that, I, you know, you never know, man. You never know. <laughs>